database consulting and custom design. Today we're going to demonstrate a custom built database application we constructed per our client requirements. Our client, Hennish, Shea, and Boyle, are a law firm and their back office case management system requirements are facilitated by this database application. The database application's purpose is to reduce time needed to complete complex tasks and streamline, streamline workflow. My colleague will start today's demonstration from where the user logs into the system. Now I'm logging into the system with the username admin. This is a gateway which authorizes whether the person is having the right to work on the application or not. It is mandatory for the user to pass through gateway and once the user is through, it displays the initial menu screen. In the screen, it's showing the case information, referring attorney information, referring attorney information, reports and database administration. When the user clicks the case information, basically this area of the application is to store the entire information related to a specific case. And on the main screen, it displays the very primary information about the case, which is non-editable. The PSV file name, client name, case name, type of case, subtype, team, attorney 1, attorney 2, attorney 3, fellow, para, legal, secretary, and the court, judge, and all these, these information. On the right hand of the screen, there are six buttons, add, modify, view, refresh, delete, query, print, and return. To add a new information, user clicks on this button and print and add a new information related to a case. To modify the existing, info, existing information, user has to go to a specific record and click modify. This will this displays this opens a new form which displays the entire information related to a case that who is the client, what is the address, who, who what is the team working on this particular case, and what is the, the what are the facts related to this case, okay, what are the case notes, who is the mediator trial information, referring source, referring attorney, and the case status. So the back office captures the entire information and keep this information update for the reporting purpose to provide the latest information to the working teams and the attorney. Further, it is having exhaustive query system where user can provide a criteria or a multiple criteria to search a specific information. For example, the team, if I opt for a gold team and the attorney, Kevin. So in the gold team, it's specifically showing all the cases which to Kevin. Close. And user can modify the information by going to a specific record, modify the status or sector and close it. So it is by this way the user can narrow down the search for the specific on the basis of the specific criteria and also can print the reports. The case information. It will print the case information related to all the four cases and the case condition. Case condition is basically for the entire data, not for a specific report section. Once the modification is done or the reporting part is over, user can refresh the information to come to the native state. Apart from that, a total audit trail is maintained where it maintains the information that 
the person who logged in, that means who created the record, who modified the record, who deleted the record, and who recovered the record. So by this way, the total detail is maintained, and the entire information about the case is maintained on this screen. Once the user is through, they can close it and come out. Apart from that, the system is maintaining the information about the referring attorney and the referred attorneys. On clicking the referred attorney, it opens the main screen again. It is showing the non-editable screen with the information related to referring firm, city, state, zip, phone, fax, email ID, firm active status and the record status. Again, it's having the provision to add, modify, view, refresh, query, delete, print, and return. User can select any record for modification purpose. It is showing the name of the referring attorney and the demographic information, also the contact information of the organization. <clears throat> Apart from that, it is also maintaining the audit trail that who created and modified, abandoned or recovered the records. And exhaustive search query. In this exhaustive search query, it's having the referring firm, city, state, code, phone number and the fax number as a search criteria. The same way, if we talk about the referred attorney, it is also maintaining the same information from referring, uh, referring from city, state, say, phone, fax, email ID, active, firm active, sta active status and the record status. It is also having a search system where can users make a search on the basic basis of uh, various search criteria and if, for example if I opt for a city, the city is uh, Los Angeles. Angeles and I say search. This will show all the referring attorney, referred attorney information related to Los Angeles and if the user wants to print the report, it will print only the information about the Los Angeles referred attorney. Close it, refresh it, and it comes to the native state. And if we give it the print statement now, it will print the entire records. Now I'm coming to the reports. When the user clicks the report section, it shows pending cases, referred out reports, accepted case report, report resolved cases report, and age report. And now clicking the pending case report. The, when the user clicks the pending case report, it shows the entire information of the pending cases available within the database or maintained by the back office. On the screen, it shows apart from the information which is non-editable, it also shows the parameters that on what basis it's that the, the information is uh, displayed on the upper screen. Here it is having a process button for where it opens a further form which shows the different uh, search criteria parameters on which the user can search for the information for a spe on, this, on the, the various criteria basis. For example, I, if I say here type of case, motor vehicle. It will show the information about the personal cases related to the personal injury. If I say product liability, no information is there. Wrongful death, it is displaying the information about the wrongful death cases. General negligence, no record is there, it will display the message medical prospectus, no information is there and once the record is refreshed again it will come to the native state and user can print the report. Further it is having the information to, to directly print the report on uh, through Microsoft Access. Apart from that there is a provision to export the report. 
when the user clicks the export it asks for the folder where the user wants to maintain the information and from the access sheet formatted report in that area now I'm opening the report The user can take out a report in Excel format as well as the Microsoft Access report format. Now I'm coming to the referred out reports. It shows all the cases which are referred out. At this moment, it's not having any case information which are referred out. And it is having the search option, criteria or option form where the user can put the various search criteria and look for a specific information or a narrow down information for the reporting purpose. It's having a print option and return. Now I'm coming to the accepted case list report. It is displaying all the accepted cases and it displays the case name, team and all that on information. Further it's having a processing capabilities or narrow down the information on the search criteria. For example, let me go for a criteria that I want to see all the cases which has been accepted by the goal team, right, in the name of goal team. So, the moment the person clicked the show data, it, it has displayed the entire information related to the goal team in the, in the back end. So, here all the cases are related to goal team. Further, user wants to print master case list report, parameter, master case list report, accepted financial report. Already the report data is ready. So user has to simply click the button and get the desired report based on the data displayed on this screen. Now I'm coming to resolve case financial report. It is uh, uh, at this moment no data is there, but it's having the same capabilities where user can search for on the basis of the team or status of the various criteria provided here and get the desired report. Age report. Again, it's having the same process. The user can search for a team on the basis of the team. If I say give me the age aging report for the all the cases which has been covered by the team cold and it will display the information and user can get the desired report on the screen. Now coming back to the main menu again, the initial menu where we displayed the client information and now I'm clicking the client information again and uh, selecting a specific one record and opening, in a, opening it in a modified form. On this screen, there are various combo boxes and they are using the information in the system, in the system developed by Help for Access. The provision has been provided that user can maintain the information in the drop-down boxes with their own. There is no hard-coded feature in the system. For that reason, a specific section has been created where it is known as database administration, which shows all the master related information means the drop down box information, for example, the code information. When the user clicks on the code information, it will display all the codes information available in the system, which can be used as a drop down box information for the code. User can add new information or modify the information and search for a specific information. Further, the audit trail is also maintained at this place also. Apart from that thing, here the authorization part is there. In this one, the rules has been defined for the different roles has been defined for the authorization 
uh, on the of working on the various form. For example, when we talk about admin and open the admin form, here the seven type of rights are there: add, modify, view, query, delete, review, re re recover, print, finalize, and appro approved. Admin is having the total rights on all the forms, and that's why in front of all, each and every form, entire information is uh, checkbox is clicked. So, administrator, when the ad person who has logged in into the system as administrator can add, modify, view, query, delete, re recover, print, print, finalize, and approve the record. The same way, when we are talking about attorney, if we go to that one, the attorney is having only the inf right on these forms to view and query. They are not having any provision to add, modify, delete, recover, print, finalize, and approve. So, so the same way, the rights has been defined for the admin, attorney, paralegal, and secretary. So these are the broad roles. What has been defined, and against each and every role, it is clearly defined that what the authorization or specific role is having on what form. Now I'm coming to the team information, staff information. In this uh, staff information, the information about all the people, all the HR, all the staff working within the organization is maintained, and they has been defined with the specific system role that whether they are admin, they are attorney, they are lease paralegal or they are secretary. For example, I take the example of Mary and modify the record. It's in for maintaining the information, what is the name, what is the last name, what is the short name, and what is the system role. System role as we defined should split previously that the admin, attorney, paralegal or secretary. The four roles any role can be assigned to the specific person and what is the designation and what is the password. So when Mary will be working on this application, when she will log in, she will be considered as an admin or on the basis of the role, system role, what has been assigned to her. So each and every staff who is going to log into the system will be will be assigned a specific role for the application. So the system it remains secure and no authorized uh, author no unauthorized person can play with the data within the system. Thank you, sir. For that so this is all. This concludes today's demonstration of the Law Office Case Management Database application built specifically for Panish, Shea, and Boyle LLP by Help for Access, database consulting and custom design. If you would like Help for Access to build a custom database application for your organization, please give us a call at 1-855-484-3433. Or visit us on the web at www.help, then the number four, access.